indeed we are. So look who we've got, the little prince himself. So Hosanna and, well, had we just driven this road round, we would have found him earlier. We just took a different road onto the western side of Twin Bands and completely missed him because there's no ways you will see him unless you are right on top of him. So luckily we came back and Abel and Aubrey also came back this side and between them they were able to spot him lying in the grass. So, so, so exciting. And don't tell Ali, but I stole her lucky beans the other day. No, I'm just joking. I didn't actually steal her lucky beans. I'm lying. It's just the way it goes sometimes. Sometimes one will get more lucky than the other. And hopefully Ali will still get some luck this afternoon and she'll get a spotted friend of her own to hang out with. But it's so good to see our boy again. Look at him. He's such a champion, this leopard. He kind of just takes everything in his stride. He doesn't look as though he's too fussed about anything at this stage. And he's really developing a big thick neck. Look at the size of the neck, sort of from the back of the head towards the chest. It's getting very deep in that area, which is typical of male leopards. So, so cool to see Hosanna. And we know he came from the south, so hopefully this means that little Hosanna is going to spend time this afternoon coming further north and we'll get a really nice, decent sighting with him this afternoon. I'm sure he's lying down in this area for a reason as well. He knows that a number of animals will come and drink from the small pans and from twin dams itself, but lying down where he is, he's almost invisible. Unless you ride on top of this road, it's hard to spot him and see him. And so if you sit here and you just wait patiently, he then come, hopefully, we'll be able to watch and wait for antelope to come down and drink. And we know that he's already hunting things like impalas, and so he's probably waiting and hoping that the impalas that come down in the late afternoon, or nyala, or terrapins that, that potentially come and sun themselves, that he can then grab them. And there's a nice big yawn, so hopefully this means he is going to start deciding to get up and move. But there we go. Big boy. <laughs> so Leslie you say we can't call him little anymore no I suppose not he's getting bigger by the day isn't he but he's still little when it com you compare him to the boys like Tingana and Quarantine and Anderson those are much much bigger leopards and so in comparison to them we can still refer to him as little for now and well it's also we just want to hang on to the fact that he's still our little prince at this stage and it's starting to change and you can see he's getting a little bit shifty now so a bit of a yawning process that he's been doing he's kind of moving on his back legs and so I wouldn't be surprised if he gets up there we go and starts to try and move what's wrong with your mouth why are you licking so much I wonder if he's got some fur or something stuck in his teeth that he's trying to get rid of or well, it looks like he might get sick and regurgitate something it does happen we... oh, there we go he might have eaten grass and then this is what happens is they regurgitate bone and hair and shell particularly if he's eaten terrapins that doesn't taste very good and you can see he's now just trying to get rid of that so that's that big stomach heaves is to try and regurgitate all of that stuff that he's not digesting so particularly bone and hair there we go There we go, there it comes out. Ah, so that's all just from eating grass. And well, maybe Hosanna had a big Saturday night. But nothing to worry about. It's quite common to see this with cats. I've seen it many times with pretty much all of the big cats that we see out here. I've seen cheetah do it, lions do it regularly, um, and leopards as well. So it's all just a part of keeping their digestive tract in good condition. They get rid of all the stuff that they're battling to digest. And that looked quite liquidy, but if, you've, if he's been eating grass, which we know Hasana does do because we've seen him doing it, that's just going to get rid of any of the stuff that he's been battling to digest. So not the prettiest thing that to see, but well, it is the way things go. Hello, big boy. Yes, you are beautiful as well. Now, I know Tumba is a very pretty leopard, but Hosanna is also just, he's got something about him. And what is that on the back of his neck there? Almost looks like he's had a run-in with somebody else. Because it looks like little bite marks on the back of his neck there, which I know is a big assumption to make, but it, that's the way it looks often when females mate with males, is that they get those bite marks there. So it does look... Can you just zoom in again there for me, Ferg? Just to see if he turns his head. Maybe not. Maybe it's just where he's been lying. A thorn tree might have caught the back of his head. But it does look as though it's matted fur, which would indicate that there was some sort of puncture. Mm, no, it's not too bad. It's not as bad as I first thought it was. 
So it looks like maybe just he might have caught his head on a thorn tree. It does happen from time to time, is that they'll walk around and they go through a buffalo thorn or something like that, and then that catches into the head and they pull through and they actually get a bit of damaged fur like that. But there's no sort of puncture wounds. You can see there's no holes that would have been caused by teeth if somebody like Tingana or another male leopard had gone after him or even a female they would have caused quite a bit of damage to the back of his head and there would have been blood that would have oozed out of there and holes from the canines which is not evident so it seems like something else has scratched him on the back of the head and caused him to lose a little bit of fur there but nothing he won't recover from so he'll be just fine from that he's in fact in still in very good condition when he was turning there his stomach doesn't look too lean he looks as though he's been feeding just fine so good to see but his life is going to get harder and harder as much as the same as what tumbers will unfortunately as much as we love to see them around that they are going to start getting pressure from the bigger males soon So Rob, you're asking if Hosanna is making regular antelope kills. Well, I'm not sure, Rob. We really haven't seen enough of him to know for sure. And we, we rely on the reports that we're getting from south of the boundary um, quite often to, to tell us if they, that he is feeding on anything. Um, but I haven't heard too much of big antelope kills. I haven't heard him too much on sort of impalas. I know he's been on the odd diker or steenbok. And then there's been scrub hares and terrapins and catfish and varying other interesting things like legavan or what we call monitor lizards um, and so he's been surviving on those things i wouldn't be surprised if he's had the odd snake as well if he can find them particularly just before that cold front we saw a lot of evidence of snakes moving around and maybe he's latched onto a few of those and so for him still it's going to be smaller things i also would imagine he's been getting quite a few franklins and guinea files i'd imagine that's what he's really been focusing on because those ultimately are you know the things that he would be coming across more than anything else but he's definitely going to be trying to hunt you know the bigger antelope species as well right now little Hosanna as one does after kind of ejecting some stomach content is going to decide now maybe just to groom himself up clean himself up after his slight little faux pas and so while he does that let's go across to Ellie and see how her spot tracking is going.